Welcome to Microsoft Office 2013 Transition from Microsoft Office 2007 and 2010. My name is Debbie Fierst and I'll be your instructor. I've been teaching Microsoft Office products since they were first released in the early 1990s, version 1. So I look forward to helping you make the transition from earlier versions to 2013. In this unit, Getting Started with Microsoft Office 2013, we're going to look at the common features across all of the products, and we'll look at Office 2013 and the cloud. In this topic, we're going to look at the common features that span all of the Office products. One of the newest features in Microsoft Office 2013 is the People Card. Social media and interactivity with people across all kinds of technologies has become critical in today's technology age. We use Facebook, Yammer, LinkedIn. We also want to have immediate ability to discuss things with people. We want to talk to them via phone, email, chat. And so what Microsoft has done is they've integrated the People Card here is an example of what the People Card looks like, and you can access this from any of the Microsoft Office tools, giving you immediate access to all things Andrew Black in this case. Access to contact him, access to look at his schedule for availability, his contact information, and possibly even his status updates from Facebook or LinkedIn. Microsoft has updated the look of the Microsoft Office tools. Across all of them, they have created a look that they call the Metro style. It's a very clean look, clean lines, clean colors. And here is an example of what the screen looks like in Microsoft Word 2013. Notice very clean blue, not a lot of clutter. And what they're showing you here is the start screen that appears inside of all of the Office products, giving you immediate abilities to utilize templates and access recently opened files. Here is another example of Microsoft Word in the new Metro style. Notice you have very clean menus at the top. Now the menus are in all uppercase. That took a little bit of getting used to. You've got a quick menu in the upper left. You also have the ribbon right below, and then, of course, the work area and the status bar. But notice the look has changed. It's very clean lines, very easy to navigate, not a lot of clutter. One of the biggest changes that spans all of the Microsoft Office tools is the start screen. Now they have made it immediately capable of taking you to recently opened files and also creating a blank document of whatever type you're in. Here we're in Excel, so we would be getting a blank workbook. And also opening templates or choosing a theme. Notice in the upper right hand corner of the start screen of any of the Office products, you also have an easy way to log in to your Microsoft account. Again, this all has to do with that people card that we discussed a little earlier in the class. The people card is accessible from any Office product and shows whether you're available or not for discussions such as chat. And so you want to now keep yourself logged into your Microsoft account if you're available to your colleagues so that when they're utilizing your people card, they see your availability.